One thing I was going to say is, have you Googled yourself lately? <laughs> yeah, sometimes. Yeah, I done seen some It's like, God, I ain't going to lie to you. Like, it gave me a headache. <laughs> yeah. It got to give you a headache. Yeah, they be on the out trip. Can you, like, is it hard to, I would assume it's hard to, like, show people a new Freddy. I mean, see, they that, that Freddy they seen is, is just, like, that ain't even the Freddy they know. You know what I'm saying? That's that's really just probably the, the other Freddy. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. But I really be on some cool shit. Right. But do it be hard to, like, escape your past? I mean, shit, I don't even know. Do you want to escape, like? I mean, you know, some, I shook my shit. I had the game food for a long time. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? It just not caught up with it. Mm-hmm. But, yeah, you know, you always want to leave, you know what I'm saying, the bullshit where it's at. No, I was just, I was looking and I'm like, man. I'm just saying for me, like for anybody, I'm like, I know this got to be frustrating. Anytime somebody, even when you pop up, you're like, bro, I don't want to talk about this and that. And I'm like, I mean, you you, you Google, nigga, that's the, all the shit that pop up. So it's like, yeah, I, I could just imagine how that feel when you constantly, people asking you about the same. Yeah. Nah, yeah, this shit get crazy. Mm. Let's, get it, let's get it started, man. <laughs> Yo, what's poppin'? It's your boy, Mr. J. Hill, and welcome to another episode of the J. Hill Podcast. But right now, I want to give a special thank you and shout out to our sponsor, that's Top Dog Law. So look, man, if you're suffering from medical malpractice, a slip and fall, especially a car accident, make sure you call my guy Top Dog Law. That's Top Dog Law on Instagram and topdoglaw.com. Look, if you check out his Instagram, you'll see he uploading big checks. I mean, like, every day. I ain't talking about the little ones. The big ones. So shout out to my guy, Top Dog Law, topdoglaw.com. Get that money. I know I'm trying to get it. What's popping? You know what time it is. Your boy, Mr. J Hill, is here. J Hill Podcast. Another special guest. We're going to just keep coming. You know how it go, man. Chart Boy Freddy is in the building. What up, dog? Hey, what to do, baby? Already. I, I appreciate you for pulling up. Oh, yeah. Real nigga do real thing. I appreciate you for having me. Already, man. You had a long ass trip. Yeah. Like, it was a long trip, but you, you came through. You're a man of your word. Oh, yeah. Real niggas still surviving out here, man. Oh, you got to know. I ain't going to say nothing I don't mean, and I'm going to mean everything I say. Isn't that isn't that crazy how that's a surprise nowadays? Like, <laughs> real men. I ain't going to say real niggas. Like, men just being on man time and being solid, like, that's really, like, something that we got to be happy for. It should be regular now, right? Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. Folks should, folks should be proud to stand on baby. That's crazy. Yo, I, um, when he was coming, I'm like, yo, be safe. He was like, what you mean? Yeah. <laughs> Why the fuck was that so triggering? Nah, it's, it, see, be safe is normal. Be careful is different. Oh, yeah, I did say be careful. Yeah, yeah see, yeah. be careful is like, nigga, laws hot, nigga, niggas outside, niggas something, you know what I'm saying? So, and why I call, hey, man, what that mean? He's like, yo, what you mean? I'm like, what bro. You mean by be careful? <laughs> I'm like, bro, just be careful, nigga. Like, he yeah. can't even, he can't even be like, all right, bet. He's like, nigga, whoa, whoa, what you, what you trying yeah, to nah, do? We got to get a clear understanding. No, I'm, but... I'm still coming up. <laughs> I just got to know how to come. What type of time you on, dog? <laughs> like, what you mean be careful? Like, nah, for real. Nigga, man. you be careful. <laughs> the law's too hot. You know, it's, it's a lot of bullshit, though, you know. It's like pulling up to a female house. Man, be careful. All them niggas out there, you know what I'm saying? Nah, facts. Like, it's just, that's just how it go. Just give me the rundown. So, nah, right. you, you should say, my people down are cool. I'm running to them. There we go. They gone. Nah, you good. You good in here, bro. Yeah. Like, I ain't, we ain't doing that weirdo type, like, type, type of stuff. Like, how was, how was the, um, how was music going, man? Like, we gonna uh, talk, but I'm just trying, I'm trying to feel like, how you feeling right now, man? Nah, the music shit going crazy, man. We going with this. I'm finna drop a tape. I would say the date right here exclusive, but it's exclusive because they don't know I'm dropping the tape. But Jack Boy Fred, we finna drop next month, you know what I'm saying? Jacket for Beach, we taking everything and putting it out. Mm. For free, though, you know what I'm saying? Just on some cool little shit. Like some old school mixtape type vibes. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, I like that. Go back to the drum board with it one time. I like that. You um, How long ago you dropped uh, No Distractions? Uh, I dropped that probably like maybe December. Okay. That you still pushing that though, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. We were still working. You had a track on there that I really fuck with. What's the name of that shit? I don't have my phone. This shit was hard. Um, I think you put it on YouTube. What's the name of this shit? I was just listening to this shit. Yeah, it's probably like 13 songs. And I 
about eight of them is on YouTube. What's video. your favorite one? I, I mean, one. I got different type of favorite ones, but on some real nigga vibes, going through it, lonely at the top, you know what I'm saying? Lonely at the top? Yeah, then we got on some street type vibes, you know, I'm going to go with the young money. You know, I'm, I'll be on that young money shit tough. It ain't shit. no secret, you know what I'm saying? Ain't no secret. I think that's probably that's my, my shit, favorite. though. That's, that's, shit, that's like that's like rap mode, stunny mode. Ugh, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, that's that's, that's Freddie right there. Mm. Yo, all right, man. I wanted to um, when I was gonna tell you, I was gonna ask you like, I'm looking at, you, I'm just doing my research, and I'm thinking like, yo, like, I wonder how you feel now. When you look back at yourself, like I wonder what you think, like what pops up in your mind, like how do you feel? I mean, it it certainly depends on what I'm looking back at. You know what I'm saying? I mean, all the nonsense that we see, we I mean, call it what it the is. Rap nonsense. I hate that shit. Mm. Yeah, I hate that. But shit. But at a point, at a time, you was engaged in everything though. Now nah, I don't give a fuck about it. You know what I'm saying? I stand on everything I ever done in my life. You know what I'm saying? I have no regrets. Regrets on none of the shit, but. You know what I'm saying? It's shit just tacky, you know what I mean? I'm, I'm a big businessman, you know what I'm saying? And it just look ugly on my resume. Mm. But I love that shit. It is what it is. I love when a man can, like, just just say some real shit, you feel me? Like, oh, yeah, yeah. I can write my wrongs. Mm. Well, that ain't nothing. So when you say you don't regret nothing, I mean, is there anything that you, I don't say wish you could do differently, because that's kind of like regret, but, like, you know, is there anything like, man? I mean, yeah, I would have just shut it up faster, you know what I'm saying? Mm. But, you know, I was talking from a different place. You know what I'm saying? I, I wasn't talking out of my mouth. I was talking out of my heart. You know what I'm saying? So Damn. it's sort of different. You know what I'm saying? The shit I was saying and why I was saying it, when I was saying it. But it it's most definitely what it is. Damn. That's some real shit, though. Hold up, hold up, hold up. Talking out my, you told us I was talking out my heart, not out my mouth. Yeah. You know, you know, that, that, that's like acting out of emotion. Mm. You know what I'm saying? You know, like, you, you act out emotion, you know. You got them get mad at your mama. I hate you. That's a different type of emotion, but you know what I'm saying? Shit, it's just act out emotion. Mm. You know, you yeah. ever been put in a hard spot and shit, nigga. That's sometimes how you get. Mm. So sometimes the emotions make it worse. Yeah. Emotion could get bad, you know what I'm saying? I only got emotions for certain things, though. So if you touch my emotions, you know what I'm saying? It's really kind of deep. If you think about that shit, all of us, for real, a lot of us, the emotions come from a place where we care. Yeah, a safe spot. So you touching the safe spot, you know what I'm saying? It's not no ill will on nothing I got going with it. I'm trying to protect the heart, you know what I mean? Mm. Protect the body. Shit, then what it is. That's crazy. What you think? So, a lot of times we hear people say, follow your heart, though. What do you think, outside of the words that we speak, what do you think lead us down the I, most, the safe route, right? Not I'm even against a, the follow your heart. I'm following that's what your I was, mind. That's what I was about to ask you. Is it the yeah, heart or the mind? What would you choose? No, I'm I'm a, I'm a follow the mind type of nigga. I tell you, all my people be smart, you know what I'm saying? Mm. And to be smart, you can't make dumb decisions. So, following your heart is a dumb decision. Mm. Now, do you accept everything that come with it? It's on you. Is you mad enough to accept whatever your heart put you in? You know what I'm saying? That's the answer you look for. But I'm off the dribble with the mind. Now, in my mind, I might say, fuck it. You see what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. And I'm going with my move. But beyond that, you know what I'm saying? I preach mind mm. but shit i know you know i i go i go against myself sometimes you know what i'm saying i know how i get it's triggering mm. but damn i'm working on i'm working on self you know what i'm saying it's cool do you understand how big of a conversation this is though oh no nah, yeah this shit deep like we ain't even go we ain't even like too deep into it but it's like this some real shit though nah yeah that shit deep how how important that you is it that the uh I guess the niggas that come after you see the, let's say, mistakes you made and learn from it, though. The niggas that come, I mean, I'm pretty sure, I hope they watch and learn, but I tell niggas why I fucked up it. You know what What's I'm the saying? biggest lesson you think is for them? The biggest lesson for them? You know, just don't trip out on the internet. Mm. Keep your cool. 
That's all it is, you know what I'm saying? You can lose your cool off the camera. Mm. Just don't lose your cool on the camera. You got to, you know what I'm saying, keep it professional. Isn't it crazy how the internet really took over the streets? I mean, it's, it really ain't even the internet. It's just the phones. But and it, beyond the phone, it's the person behind it because I don't put shit on the internet. You know what I'm saying? So it's more so whoever the fuck that was to do it anyway. That's the type of person they is. I mean, at one point you was... You was talking on that, so nah, exactly. But that's not. I'm, I'm, I'm gonna be in a response type of person. I ain't gonna jump off no bullshit on no internet. You know what I'm saying? But I say something back when I feel like it. You know mm-hmm. what I'm saying? And it is what it is. But I ain't gonna just jump out the gate on no bullshit. I ain't gonna bring no street shit to the internet. I ain't gonna put me in no bullshit on the internet. You know what I'm saying? But I mean, wait. You not gonna just jump out there first? You gonna respond? But yeah. And even still, this is... But I'm going to respond disrespectfully, but respectfully. You know what I'm saying? What the hell is that? That's like, I'm going to disrespect you back, but I'm not going to put myself in a fucked up situation and get me in trouble. What I'm saying. Now, if I'm saying some shit, it's not going to get me in trouble at all. All right, but hold up, hold up, hold up, nigga. Hold up, hold up. Because we ain't about to just have this conversation and bullshit. You just said a lot of that shit you got into was following your heart. Yeah. On some emotional shit. Right. But then you say, if a nigga, right now, today, if a nigga say something, you're going to respond. Right. But I won't respond how I would have really respond. You know okay. what I'm saying? But you will still respond. Respectfully. Why? But disrespectfully. Why? Like, nigga, fuck you too. You know what I'm saying? But why? That's cool. That ain't <laughs> no bad thing. But it depends on who you is to make me say fuck you back anyway. I, I'm quick to block a nigga. I always got to hear that shit. You always said that, that shit. That shit over. Yeah, I'll block you. You never say nothing to me again. Like, Nigga, you gonna make another page? I'm gonna block that motherfucker. You right. gonna get tired of making pages to talk. You're having a nigga. block party. Fuck That's it. it. But you still gonna respond? I mean, it just depends on who it is. Now, some people can say shit. I would never say nothing to. Right. The right person say something. I say something. I mean, I guess it like it would. If it's somebody that's like worth responding to, like if it's a nigga that yeah. this is a random, like nah. If I know who you is, like you can't be just no random. That nigga suck. That nigga, you know what I'm saying? No, that ain't shit. Mm. But if I know, nigga, you, nigga, that nigga pussy, nigga, I know you my whole life, nigga, you know what's up, me, nigga, fuck you. That's the heart, though, nigga, that's the emo. that's the... Nah, that's not emotion, that's me checking you. Emotion is, like, touchy situation, like death. Okay. You know what I'm saying, like... Like the big situation yeah. that we know about. Touch situation, touchy like, nigga, my friend died, my mom, you know what I'm saying, like some mm. real close... That's some touchy shit. That's about it. Money stole. You know what I'm saying? Like, but if a nigga say something about you and he know you, that shit is touchy too. Cause like, nigga, I mean, you know, some, me, nigga. if I know you and I know you a bitch, that don't mean nothing to me. Mm-hmm. Now, if you may be somebody good and you know, all right, nigga, we'll see about it. You know what I'm saying? But nigga, you still know. Mm-hmm. Like, that ain't, that ain't gonna bother me though. Mm-hmm. It's funny. I was talking to somebody and they was saying, uh, just talking about the streets and the internet shit. They was like, the internet is in the streets. And, like, I feel like I think we around the same age, for real. Because I used to always say, like, niggas, like, this can't be back in the day. Back in the day, niggas ain't really saying niggas don't talk too much. Man, but as new niggas. But at the same time, though, let's, 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 let's rephrase this, though. Because at the same time, they might be new niggas, but we ain't really have internet back in the day. We had internet, but it was niggas that had no voice. You see what I'm saying? It's like, the niggas who had a voice weren't yelling that shit on the internet, you know, to keep it in the streets. The niggas who needed the internet to have a voice yell on the internet. Like, niggas be niggas that was quiet as fucking school, didn't say nothing when everybody was right there. You can go home and say whatever you want and can't not have it to you. Right. That ain't really the case nowadays, though, bro, because it really be some... It's going, to, it's, it's going to sound weird for me to even say this, but it's some real niggas on the internet that's going... Like, it's a nigga that's popping this shit on the internet and still will get a nigga out, out the way. Exactly, because he's dumb, and he's just not getting a whiff of internet mm. he getting a whiff, a whiff of the internet viral moment type vibes you know what i'm saying like damn i do this on the internet go crazy you know what i'm saying you still got niggas that are sacrificed to go viral on some gangster shit too yo this episode is sponsored by the morning meetup man shout out to my guy david shines man he's probably one of the few people i know who actually built multiple multi-million dollar businesses right he created the morning meetup to help other entrepreneurs do the same thing now listen As an entrepreneur myself, I know how hard it can get, especially when we start making money and we get to like this financial cap that we can't get past. And honestly, let's be real. 
They say it ain't what you know, it's who you know. We probably can't get past this cap because we either, one, outgrew the people around us, or two, we just being lazy and weighing in the rooms we need to be in. It's just plain and simple. But trust me, this is your time because the morning meetup is that room we got to be in. It's filled with, filled with entrepreneurs getting to it. They reading different books every month, right? They holding each other accountable. And it's just honestly just something dope to be a part of. So listen, if you're an entrepreneur and you're trying to get to this bag, you're trying to flourish more than you've been flourishing now, you got to go to the morningmeetup.com. That's www.themorningmeetup.com and join now. Let's get to it. I'll see you there. Most of the podcasts, media spaces, blogs, all of that, they really like, they really winning off of tea and messy stuff. Yeah, most definitely. You think that's messing up the game right now? The tea and the, and the <clears throat> I mean, that's chase? their job. It's it's the it's the rapper, it's the artist, it's the other, it's the the response. Mm. Now the question is the motherfucker, but the response kind of overrides the question. So you think it's on the artist? It's crazy because I was talking about I was holding the media accountable. It, it, it be the media, but that's their job. You know what I'm saying? Their job is to get the bullshit out you or to get the ratings or whatever to make people come look. All right, I'm going to throw a curveball. I think it's not even that, right? It could be the media. It could be the artist, right? Sometimes it could be them comments, too. Comments, Jack, they going to do it. I was uh, I was interviewing um somebody, and she was, we was talking. We had a good conversation, similar to what we were talking about, but she was like, she was so hesitant of having a conversation even in its entirety because even though we having a good conversation, they can snip it up and post it, and it's still yeah. going to go. It's still going to look negative. Yeah, that's how it go. Damn. So you say it's the artist. Yeah. Like even when they snip it up, they can also go back and find the real joint and be like, "Oh no, nah, it wasn't that." Mm. But nigga, that's just a part of the game. But yeah. why are we going to stop if? Again, we somebody yesterday. Why are we going to stop if that's the same thing that's getting it lit? Like the the messy it, stuff is getting them lit. It just depends on the person. You know, it's different. T- to me, that's like selling your soul. Mm. You know what I'm saying? So if you're ready to sell your soul for that cash, go and buy it. Or you just find a better route. Mm. It's always a better way. You just got to think outside the box. But I feel like it's easier for you to say that coming out on this side because you didn't play that game before. I done done it. But... I didn't do it to play the game. I did it as in, I did it as in, you did it to me, I'm going to do it to you. Mm. You laugh, I'm going to laugh louder. I'm just petty in the motherfucker too, though. You still petty like that? For sure. What's the pettiest thing you ever did? This shit get bad. <laughs> you might as well say that. <laughs> I, I feel like we got, I ain't gonna lie, this we shit, cool at this point. <laughs> this shit gets bad. I did some petty shit. What's the pettiest thing? I mean, in what lane? <laughs> You got women petty, you got nigga petty, you got family petty, op Damn. petty, you got man, this shit gets real pitiful. <laughs> pitiful. <laughs> <laughs> pitiful. Oh, I don't know what I wanna ask. Damn. Let's say op lane. Uh man, the pettiest stuff I ever did in my life that type of way when I said, Who got the freeway blocked off? That was petty. <laughs> that was petty in the bitch. Bro, that's not funny, bro. <laughs> no, it ain't. <laughs> nah, it was funny, but it was petty. Does all right, so damn, bro. I I should have asked that question. That's crazy, <laughs> bro. What the hell? <laughs> bro, it's, that's not funny, dog. <laughs> Come on, bro. That's not we ain't about to say. <laughs> that ain't cool, bro. What the hell? I can't even endorse that. Wait. All right, so let me ask you this then. Does looking back on it. Cause you grown, right? That, w- that was the mistake I made. <sighs> okay. Yeah. That, but, that was the one we was talking about that I didn't say, but that was the one. Mm-hmm. Like, you know what I'm saying? I jacked off too hard on that one. That was a bad bitch. <laughs> it was bad. I, ain't gonna I lie. mean, at least you. I mean, at least you here. We talk about this. At least you here to re to. Yeah, for sure. So, how do you do you try to right those wrongs? No, I'm not writing wrongs. Mm, That's just not from. That 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 was that's wrong in a different way and it's right in a in a different way. And what way is it right? Where I was coming from. See, cause that 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 came from a nigga telling me after I got shot, nigga walk, nigga do this, do you know what I'm saying? So yeah, that's yeah, just on yeah. a pity vibe, like a next level of that pity. And that's kinda 
jeez, I ain't really trying to get too deep in this. Nah, but that's, but that's kinda, how to go. I was about to say that's that's kind of the, the the way of the streets is. I mean, but that right there, but that's 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 karma. Yeah. What? Well, and that fall back to God. You see what mm-hmm. I'm saying? Like, nigga, God seen you playing, nigga, and that's how it happened to your ass. Like, in, in my eyes, type of way. But even, but I'm saying, even in the streets, a lot of people, they tend to have these imaginary rules. When honestly, bro, it ain't really no honor amongst thieves anyway. It ain't, but it is. What? What's the? I mean, see, it's a difference between thieves and street niggas. Like, like you say, thieves? No, not thieves. But in the streets, it's. There's some honor in the motherfuckers, but where's the yeah. honor? Where, where you ever seen the honor in, in the in the street, nigga? When the time when it really hit the fan, I mean, it just it's just the person. You know what I'm saying, it's the niggas. I done seen a lot of honor. You know what I'm saying a lot. What's honor then? Uh, you know, not stealing from your people, not bring giving that nigga that bringing that money back on time, bringing you know what I'm saying, fixing your you fuck up, nigga, fix your fuck up. You mm. know what I'm saying, like nigga, it's honor in that shit. It just depends on the person. I just feel like the streets never play fair, ever. I mean, no, it's different players. The streets play fair. Now, you know, niggas get in the streets and piss the concrete off. Mm. So, you know what I'm saying, the concrete lets you know that that motherfucker's real. Like, doing the wheelie on the motorcycle falling. You know what I'm saying? Like, nigga, you weren't even supposed to be doing that. You tripping, nigga, that concrete right there. Then you get hurt. Now you understand. You know what I'm saying? Like, mm. touching the stove. You know what I'm saying? But nah, it's 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 under them streets, bro. You most people was taught right now. You was taught by taught right by the right person, but some niggas be taught by thieves. Mm. So that's they right in their world. You know what I'm saying? But I don't know. I, I, it's like I don't know. We just having a conversation at this point because we never seen. We never really. See, if if we did see, we ain't see too many. Positive outcomes man, come from niggas hanging in the street. Good niggas. All my OGs, man. I was ready about some good niggas, bro. Yeah, we like, talked about that too. Like, nigga, that's the game. They gave me everything, nigga. I, I, I was ready about some good niggas, man. Left to right. Yeah. We were talking about that, like, has, like when we was younger. For you, it was a little different. For, my, for me, the old is, they was like, yo, get out the street, stay in school. Yeah. They never was on the goofy time that we see now. Yeah. See, my old head. They won't. They wasn't saying go to school, but nigga, be smart. You know what I'm saying? Mm. Nigga, I do no clown shit. Like when I was young, I used to I always walk around with my shirt off. Mm. Nigga, put your fucking shirt on. Nigga, you make it. You know what I'm saying? I used to drive my shirt off. Put your shirt on, bro. I used to have a car full. Like I had a hot car. Like the the laws knew my car because when they hit my house, they took my keys and took my car one time. So. My OG wouldn't let me come to his house if I was driving my car. Mm. First, he was telling me, like, I was taking that as he was just doing some big dog shit. Like, nigga, don't bring that car in the hood. Nigga, get out. You know what I'm saying? That car hot. But he was really telling me, like, little bro, get out the fucking car. Nigga, they just took your car. You don't think they know that your car shit? Mm. So it took me to, like, sit down and understand what he was saying one day. Like, nigga, I ain't telling you because he said it in front of everybody one time. Like, nigga, I ain't got to come to your house, nigga. Fuck your house. You know what I'm saying? I can drive my motherfucking car. And he was like, nigga, I ain't even telling to you like that, nigga. I'm telling you because, you know what I'm saying? And I was like, nah, yeah, you right, bro. And I went and got me a bucket. And I've been jumping in the buckets ever since. You know what I'm saying? No, I mean, I think we definitely could find some good lessons out of the streets, right? Yeah, like you gonna learn a lot of good lessons. But I think honestly, I've been saying this a lot. I feel like it's not really the sh- the streets has good lessons if you apply it right. In my opinion, right? I remember like we, I used to always say like street, one thing the streets taught me was or the hood, not even the streets because I'm not a street nigga. The hood taught me was like never be a bitch, right? Yeah. But at a time, I never really understood what that meant. So anytime somebody called me a name, anytime somebody di- disrespect me. I looked at it as I couldn't let that happen. As I got older, I understood that what that really meant was always be a man and be on man time. I mean, that's that's a good, but that could be a curse too. What you mean? Like that not being a bitch. No, nah, fact. That's what I'm saying. Like not being a bitch is different, but mm-hmm. you don't have to respond to everything. That shit you talking. About. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. Like it's a little different. 
Nigga, some niggas you might not need to say nothing back to because it can go super bad. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Like, nigga, fuck you, little nigga. All right, bro, you got it. You know what I'm saying? Ain't nothing wrong with that. Because you might be telling the nigga you got it who was already ready to fuck you over anyway mm. just because you so-and-so nephew anyways. Niggas be waiting. And he was waiting to touch your uncle ass and your uncle been playing, so he going to hit your ass anyway. Mm-hmm. So sometimes it's... It, a lot of time it's good to just go the other way. Yeah. But not I mean, that's true. But even not even to, to that level, but just I think the man thing to do is to walk away though. Yeah. Because at the end of the day, when we get older, we got family at this point. Yeah. And the most important thing is really making it home to your family. Right, show. You know what I'm saying? A lot of niggas getting caught up in their ego and their pride trying to prove something to a nigga. Even if you was a young nigga that really could handle yours, yeah. it ain't even worth getting caught slipping. But that's why I say, like, the streets taught us things like loyalty, like honor, right? These are things, like, not snitching. As a youngin', I'm thinking, like, yeah, still for niggas that's playing in the streets, not to snitch for real. But as I got older, it's really, like, take accountability for yourself. Yeah. Never put yourself in a position where you got to worry about the next man yeah. telling on you. You feel me? These are things that I was told, but I had to learn over time. Yeah. And I understood, but some people characterize it as street mentality. I think it's just some grown man shit. And just stay out of the way. Nah, facts. <laughs> nah, facts. Straight up. But like I got to say yesterday, you blessed, though. Because a lot of people ain't going to have your experience. Because you was, at the time, you was all the way in the way. Nah, yeah, I don't been I don't been in the way my whole life. I was one of the ones that never walked away. Mm. I want to knock at a nigga dope. It's just really, I, I got different reasons on why I would like that, too, though. Like, I, I grew up around, now, not my OG now that I'm talking about right now, but like certain old niggas used to do whole shit to young niggas. You know what I'm saying? Mm. And I grew up around that shit, so I love to show an old nigga not to play with me. You know what I'm saying? Mm. And that's the ways I was going with it. But I stopped having those problems immediately. But you know what I'm saying? I seen other folks go through it and shit like that. But nigga, I was quick to, nah, nigga, we gonna. I'm gonna fuck somebody up or buy some hoe ass shit like that. Bro, that's crazy, right? Not even not to play this therapy game, but it seems like that's probably why you would always respond, cause it, it kinda helps you. Like it showed yeah. that I ain't the one to be messed with. That shit helped me the, my whole life. Mm. Niggas were not fucking with me since then. <laughs> nigga, the, the niggas that fuck with me is the niggas that don't know me. Mm. Like nigga, you ain't gonna fuck with him if you know me, nigga. Like nigga, nah. Now you got the new ways, you know what I'm saying, new days where niggas want that type of pull or want folks, like I was telling you yesterday, nigga, you got, now nah, they know not to fuck with him. Mm-hmm. Nigga, now nah, that nigga, you know what I'm saying, so now you got people that going to test that to even try to come be on that same type of vibe with you, same type of level with you with that shit to be the nigga that tested that nigga, you know what I'm saying? Thanks. So, yeah, guys, that's, that just shit come with the territory. Bro, it's crazy that no matter what you do, it's always going to be a roadblock in some sort of way, right? Always. Think about it. Like, you, bro, you could be out the way, doing your thing, and niggas still feel the way. You could be a nigga that's not to be played with. It's still going to be somebody to respect you. It could still be somebody be like, you know what? They think he ain't to be played with. So Give me that. Let me, let me show him that I, it, I'm the bro. one that could, could show him who really bought. That's the game, bro. It's like, what? That's why you just got to stay out their way. How can you stay out niggas way? Don't go don't go where them people be at. Don't I mean it's still gonna come to you however it come, but you can maneuver fam like for sure. Facts. Like I skated a long time, man. I skate. Just skate peaceful, you know what I'm saying? But it's just about when what you, it's not what you're doing, it's how you doing it, you know what I'm saying? So you go you know like like this right here. You got it. You got two, two, three types. You can go to the store with your system banging, fresh, jump out the car, leave your car running. Mm. You can go to the store, fresh, banging, let the, let somebody come get out the car before you go, go in the store. Or you can go to the store in the bucket and just blend in. Mm. So, any one of them, out of all three of them ways, nigga, most likely the bucket is going to be the safest one. 
You jumped out, nigga, they gonna either probably take your motherfucking car, wanna jack you for your car. The police might pull up at this hot ass store while you in your car. All of these ways, but nigga, the, the one you gonna slide off in is that bucket. Mm. Simple as that. Stay out the way, no jewelry on. Just simple, man. Blend in. I still a lot of niggas want flex, like, man, I can do whatever I want. That's because it's their time, or they never had that before, so now it's time. You know what I'm saying? You got you to gotta go through that nigga still in your car. You got to go through the police blocking that hot ass car in. You got to go through That's all that right. bullshit, you know what I'm saying, before you get to that. See, luckily, I went through all that shit. Before you was even. But. At the same time, I was watching niggas not go through it. Like my OG now, nigga pull up to the store and they bucket, slide in, slide out. I done seen them pull up in the drops and cars and let other people go in and come on out. I done seen them. And then you got to get out and leave the car because now the police done pulled up. You know what I'm saying? So I done seen it. So nigga, you just got to do that shit right, bro. What you think the biggest lesson you learned coming up? In the industry, well, industry, shit and, rap and industry. What's the the most impactful thing you learned from the streets, and the most impactful thing you learned in in in, in the rap industry? The most, I mean, it's, the biggest it's, lesson. I mean, the, the biggest lesson in the streets is not having your trap key on your key ring and make that your house. You know what I'm saying? Mm, damn, it's a bad motherfucker. That was hard, nigga. You you can't got shit in this hole. Ain't number of drugs in this house, but you got the key on your car key. This your car. This is your car key. This your house. This is yours. Mm. You know what I'm saying? So that's a bad bitch, though. That's one that'll save you from a lot of trouble. You can beat half of the cases in the world over traps, you know, long as it ain't in your name. You know what I'm saying? And most people don't trap out their own houses if they got common sense. But you keep that key separate, nigga. I don't know who key this is. I don't know. You keep that key off your shit, nigga. Whoever it is, is who's it is. Mm. So that <laughs> that's just made, just made me think. It's like we talked about it, but like wh- since we talk about the trap and shit like that, what made Charles and White think that that was just spot? No, he thought that was my spot. Yeah, what made him think that? he thought it was my spot because the news said it was mine. So he ain't really calling cops. No, that that was cap. But the news lied and said that was my house. That's not my fucking house. Oh. Fuck out. Why this gonna be my house? Out of all the people's house, it could be. Why is it mine? Facts, nigga. That ain't my house. Like, you know, that's cap. But the world don't know. You know what I'm saying? Like, they didn't kick in no dough and got me. Like, when you got a when you got a warrant for a house, like to come in type shit, you are gonna kick that motherfucker in and come get them. Mm-hmm. You don't. They had a people warrant, like a person warrant, just for me. So they couldn't get the door in. They was yelling and shit. Freddy, come on out, blah, blah, blah. So I came out of the person's house. You know what I'm saying? Like, that's the end of that. <laughs> nah, that nigga say he called the police. He swear he be calling nah, the police. Nah, he just seen that shit on the news. You know what I'm saying? That's that That's that media close. Nah, yeah, he seen it on the news and seen it was a school right there and was like, yeah, they he seen what type of house it looked like or they traveling in schools on duh, y'all stupid. We know what it is. That's, that's not what it is. So let me ask you this, would you ever play the game? Like reverse not? No. But you wanna never play the game? No. That ain't, that ain't fun. I wanna play like you got certain people that play to like I don't wanna play no game that's gonna put me in jail with you. Or, you know what I'm saying? Like, I'm not gonna play your game where you're gonna try to twist me up to go to jail for Right. It. But so. if you didn't have to go to jail, hypothetically, let's say, I don't sure, know, I would, if y'all I would do a, a live or something, would you do it? Yeah, I'd do that. But I would've, like, if it was, was like normal rapper type vibes where ain't nobody trying to put you in jail with you talking shit, yeah. You know what I'm saying? But you already won because you want me in jail, so I don't wanna fuck with you. Yeah, no, nah, facts. All right. Back to this. The biggest lesson you learned from the rap game? Uh, you know, don't, 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 don't goddamn be on that motherfucker talking that shit. Mm. You just gotta chill. Nah, cause they really gonna come get you. That shit real. That, that don't that, that did that make it hard to make music nowadays though? I mean, that's cap to me, but for real, I'm talking about. Wait, what's cap? The hip hop police type shit? No, nah, I'm saying like all they trying to use what you say rapping. That shit fake, bro. Half 
A million, damn near, 99.9% of the shit these niggas be rapping about be faking, motherfucker. They just, some of it be real, but however the case may be, you just putting it together. Nigga, I can just go rap about some shit you did. That don't fucking mean I did it. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Like, that's stupid. So, I don't believe in that part, but. But when you say I don't believe in it, because it's really real. Them niggas is really doing it. Like, they niggas can do really it, but you're not going to win that shit. I don't, everybody that's doing that and winning, I don't think they're going to win that shit. I think you you need more than that. You know what I'm okay. saying? Okay, like, I mean, that's man. just yeah. bullshit. Nigga, you got to have some real evidence on the shit or it ain't that. Okay. But some niggas is really doing that and putting it in their music. Because what? They they, they know it. it worked. No. Mm. They know that's they, that's they chance right there. Like, nigga, how the viral moment. Like, nigga, we know this. Yeah, that's what it is. Like, nigga, I done seen niggas pop <laughs> off... Lying about the shit. Mm. Like, straight up. I done seen that already. So how do we get out that cycle? I asked you this yesterday. You like, can't. Is there nothing you can do about it. That's the same thing. That's like the, that's like the robber walking up to your car. There's nothing you can do about it. When it finally come to you, it's going to come. Nigga that, when that nigga that talk shit about everybody, finally start talking shit about you, it's coming. Like, you can't do nothing about that. That nigga who diss everybody, once you get fined on his radar, he going to diss your ass too. So that just will come with the, the life. That's it, bro. You can't stop none of that shit. So how do we get... Not to sound too... Like, I don't know. I don't know what the word... But, like, righteous, yeah. But, I mean... How do we get our young kids out the street, though? Like, for real, though. Like, this is a real Do you real really question. think you can do that? I feel like we've you been wanna, having this conversation you, for a long time. If you want to do it, you got to show... Find a way that it can be done. Show them how easy it is. And they're going to do it. You think so? I'm, if you show a nigga you made a million dollars off t- selling T-shirts right here at this store, they're going to sell them same T-shirts at this store. Mm. You just got to show them, prove it. That's it. Right. But if you can't, they're going to go to where they think working. That's how everybody going to the dissing there because they think the dissing working. That's how they go to yelling in the phone. They think that work. That's a fact. They go to the blogs. Blogs because they think that work. And that's crazy because as much as we blame the academics – the Sean Cottons, the Adam 22s, they really just providing a platform so I can understand you. See, I don't blame them. Yeah, and that's why I, that's, I, I, see, I can see why you see the artist because if it's working, the artist going to go there and pop that shit. They're they going to do it. Like, I done seen this shit, all that shit I done seen. I done seen artists bag away. I done seen blogs. Then when the shit get hot, I see blogs bag away from it. Mm. But nigga, this is where it stemmed from. You see what I'm saying? So when the bloggers start thinking like, maybe I'm gonna stop doing that shit because I see where it's gonna stem to. They'll stop eventually. Mm. You know what I'm saying? But sometimes it go too far. And 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 for real, it's crazy because it really depends on the person that's giving the message though. Yeah. Because a lot of these young niggas, if they if they feel like you ain't been through what they've been through, or you ain't seen half the shit they seen, they gonna listen to you. you. Like nigga, they ain't gonna listen to you. That's why you gotta prove it. It ain't about what you saying, man. Show me. Nigga. But how, but even that, right? I'm just inquisitive. How the hell do you prove it? Like for example, you making you doing your thing. Money. But Money hold up. prove it. But you doing your thing, right? But your past is still your past, so that still kinda helped you. People don't even care about your past once you get money. Your past don't mean shit. You getting some money and they see you getting money, know you getting money. Man, what are you doing? Let me do it. You 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 pressing what? Who do I need to press? Who do I need to call to get this right here? Mm. They going to do that shit, bro. Just got to put it in their face. Speaking of the money shit, you think... You said you don't like rapping. I always see people say the rap actually is the least amount of money that they make. Like, the actual... The music? No. They make more money from everything else. I mean, I make money. I, I made more. I don't know. <laughs> I made a lot of money off the rap. Off the rap? Yeah, yeah. But it's you just got to know how to do what you're doing. You know but was saying? it because of the stuff that was surrounding you? No, nah, yeah, no. Nah. Even to say, like, my first rap check mm. didn't have nothing to do with no bullshit. It had only to do with my good shit I had going. You see what I'm saying? So I want to say that. How much was your first rap check? I mean, I would, but I can't go left and right with it. But wait, we're not. It's old. That shit old. No, nah, but it was better than all the trap money. Mm. It was better, uh, better than all the trap deals. 
I can say that. So, you know what I'm saying? It's, I don't know, but it was worth it. I kept rapping out there. No, facts. And you can see the progression, too. And I got like nine, ten more of them motherfuckers since then. So it's like, shit, no, nah, I love that shit. Nigga, I'm finding me a way to get another check out of it. That's the game. So why you hate the rap then? I hate rap niggas. I hate people. I hate people that don't think like me. I say you seem like a pretty cool person. I can't cool believe you hate bitch. people. We cool as a motherfucker. I only hate, I hate bullshit folks. I hate, I hate just, you know what I'm saying, bullshit folks, period. What's bullshit folks? I don't know what that is. It's a lot of types of bullshit. I mean, it's a lot of weirdos here anyway. But, I, like in the rap world, I hate the messy folks. Mm. Do you hate them? No, I don't hate them, but I dislike that. That's I don't want to be involved with shit they got going on. But you got to have some... No, 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 no. You can't just say that. Because you got to have some type of empathy for them, though. No. You I was no empathy You played them. the game, though, at one point. No. I responded. That's the difference. That's still... That's playing in the mess. No, that's like... Nigga, I said this back, and right after this, I'm in on that. But you know that's plan, bro. We not about no, to man, man. You we knock not about up, to you knock on my door. I'm gonna open it. Facts. Give you what you looking for, and close that motherfucker right back. That's it. I ain't finna come outside, go to your house, and you came over here with this shit. You gonna get it? And but gonna... going to the blocks is messy too. Yeah. Come on, you not about to sit up here and say I'm, it's not messy. It's, it depends on what you going to the blocks doing. Talking about another nigga, period. No, I, I won't go to the blogs talk about no nigga. No. We seen it before, though. You didn't see me go to no blogs. No, you ain't go to no, no. You no. ain't go to the blog. Of course, they came to you. I'm not finna go to no blog, <laughs> period, and talk messy, down, negative on niggas. No. Mm. No shape, form, or fashion. Like, even if you've seen it now, you haven't seen me do that. You will see me saying this, that, third. This could have been this, this, that. You know what I'm saying? You ain't gonna see me. Man, this nigga, uh, no. It's funny. We, we was, I can tell you where folks fuck up for sure. Where? I mean, that's what in the blogs I tell you where a person fucked up. That's where they okay. fucked up at. I guess I'm looking at it because if you respond on the blogs, right? If we had a conversation, like you could come and be like, I ain't talking about that. You could yeah. say that. Yeah. Right? Or not not now. You could have said that. Right? So like when we see a blog and you responding, the shit gonna get posted on every blog site. But and it's gonna not, look like No, that'd be more so. Off my own page. That's not going to the blogs and doing it. You know what I'm saying? They took the motherfucker and did it. Mm. Okay, let me ask you this. Do you think, we talked about this yesterday, all this shit you've been through and just the growth in you, we talk, We talked about the growth, we see it. Do you think it's hard? I got you at Foster. Do you mm. think it's hard for people to, to erase who you used to be and get to know the new Freddy? I mean, it ain't hard. You just got to do different shit. Like, I was a way worse person than this already. Mm. Like, I, it took me 10 years to shake that shit, and it came back, but that just more so that your past hunt you shit, mm. if you doing something to make it hunt you, you know what I'm saying? But, like, if you get right, it ain't going to hunt you, but once you get the bullshit, it's going to come back and bite your ass. So you don't see people, like, trying to hold you back to your past? Mm, it's just, Probably don't pay it no mind. No, nah, because most people forget, bro. Like, they'll forget that shit. I mean, it's... It just should be when it's new, it's new. When it's old, it's old. That's I guess that's true. It's just when you when again when I was doing my research, everything that came up was just bullshit. So it's like yeah. you, it's hard to forget when when you Google your ah, name. That's all new shit is there. bullshit. So I'm saying I have no old bullshit. Mm. Like that's old, like the yeah, that's old now, but it's still new. Like old is ten years. Okay, new is you. everything under five years. Okay, I you know what I'm saying, yeah, yeah. and it's all a five year bullshit span. But for you, it's still old because it's not where you at now. You, yeah, no, nah, that's old. That that's still old to me. What's, yeah. But what's old to me might be new to you when you first hear it. Mm. Or like I got an old song, then you think this motherfucker go hard. Mm. You just new. You just never heard it. I've right. this whole ten years ago. But even that is that frustrating. Trying to get niggas to erase. No, nah, you can't do nothing about that. So you just accept it. You so you telling me you fuck with this girl and you fucked with her home girl in school. Mm -hmm. I can't do nothing about that. Baby, you want to fuck with me? Fuck with me. You don't? All right. But let's, pay, let's say this, though. I fuck with this girl. I fuck with her home girl in school, right? And let's say this girl become super popular. And now every time I'm, I, I'm, I'm popular, every time I'm trying to date a chick, her narrative is going around, 
this nigga not faithful. And every time I'm trying to talk to a new girl, they like, yeah, ain't you the, the dude that the girl put out there and said, like, you ain't... That shit gonna get annoying. I can accept it. I mean, you can't do nothing about that. She like, got a voice. That's what's like being mad at a bitch with money. You can't do nothing about that hoe got money. <laughs> yeah, you want her to be at home hurt. No, she outside balling mm. immediately after the breakup. See what I'm saying? Like, you can't do nothing about that, bro. Get your shit off. I got you. You want to take one second. You can't do nothing about that shit. Nah, no, that's a fact. I mean, this is true. This is true. 